I am so, so grateful for my dad. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and hey, happy Father's Day. Yeah, today I want to talk to us about our dads and how awesome they are. You know, because of my dad's work, I, I definitely see my mom more than I see my dad. Like, a lot of times he's he's up and already gone to work before I'm even awake. And usually, after I come home from school, there's there's a couple hours at least before my dad comes home. So because I spend so much time with my mom, it, it would be pretty easy for me to just, like, not care as much about my dad. I mean, I know that's kind of hard to say, but it, just just the time that I spend with my mom versus the time that I spend with my dad, it seems like like maybe my mom would be more important to me than my dad. But that's not true at all. And and my dad isn't more important to me than my mom. They're, they're both very, very important to me. But my dad is my hero. You know, if I get good scores at school and I come back with a good report, my mom is usually, you know, the first one to see it and she's She's very kind. She'd say, oh, Douglas, I'm so proud of you. You worked so hard. Look, look how good you did. And when my mom starts saying stuff like that, I'm mostly just like, oh, mom, you know, it's, it's not that big a deal. You know, it's fine. You, you don't need to get so excited about it. I should point out that it's, it's not that often that I get scores like that at school. But man, if I do, if I do something good, like get good scores at school, get good grades. If my dad sees it and he goes, good job, son. I'm proud of you. I just, I just like melt. I just turn into a puddle. And it's not like my dad is never proud of me. You know, it's not like, you know, my mom is proud of me all the time. And so it doesn't mean that much. My dad is only proud of me some of the times. And so it means more. No, my, my dad is proud of me just as much as my mom is proud of me. But there's something about my dad being proud of me that just, I don't know. It just makes me want to be the best me that I can be. It makes me want to, it makes me want to succeed. It makes me want to to overcome. It makes me want to do the best that I can. My dad is such a source of, of strength and guidance. It's like it's like he's a rock that I can stand on. And you know, our, our moms do so much for us as kids. So, so much. And, and I think that sometimes because of all the stuff that our moms do for us, dads can kind of fade into the background, right? It, it can seem like maybe dads aren't all that important, but man, they are. There are so many statistics about what can happen when you don't have a father. Kids that don't have a father are so much more likely to get into serious trouble and and go to prison. Kids without a father are so much more likely to get into drugs and alcohol. They're they're so much more likely to, to drop out of school. There's so many negative statistics that that show us how important a father can be. And one of the things that's so cool about our dads is, you know, the Bible says that that God is our father and, and our earthly fathers can show us what our heavenly father is like. The, the love of a father is very similar to God's love for us. But the truth is that the love and, and guidance and support and protection that we get from our earthly fathers is just a, it's just a reflection almost like a like a shadow of the love and guidance and strength and protection that we receive from our heavenly father but hey if you are one of the many many kids who who don't have a father in your life one of the many kids whose whose dads are either not around or they're not showing you the love of god like they should be i just want you to know that you do not have to be a statistic because there's nothing that can separate you from the love of your father god and so my challenge to you guys today is that you would, you would thank your father. Thank your dad for being there for you. Thank your dad for showing you what God's love is like. Thank him for his love and his strength and his guidance and his support and his protection. And be sure to thank your heavenly father too. Our God is a good, good father. He's always there for us. Our heavenly father and, and our earthly fathers and the godly men that God has put into our life are awesome. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And yeah, happy Father's Day. Be sure to thank your father. And if your father isn't around, be sure to thank the, the godly men that God has put into your life. And you know what? I think even if your father is around, it's still good to thank the other godly men that God has put into your life. But man, I really feel like it is really easy to, to overlook dads and the importance of godly men in our life. They are so, so important. And they help to show us you know, at least a small part of what the love of our Heavenly Father is like.